Hi, welcome to Cooking with Greg. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different from the Indian food I have been doing. Today I'm going to show you how to make Chinese takeaway style char siu. That's Chinese barbecue roast pork. It's not actually roasted, it's boiled. That's how the takeaways do it. Okay, so let's start with the ingredients. You will need one small onion chopped up, you can leave the skin on. Half a bulb of garlic, again you can leave the skin on but do crush it. About a tablespoon of tomato puree. About a tablespoon of garlic powder. Two tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Two tablespoons of crushed yellow bean sauce, if you can use this brand. I've got about six star anise in here. In this bowl I have a teaspoon of fennel seeds, um, half a teaspoon of cloves, a piece of cinnamon. Here I have red food colouring, now this is optional. Here I have 150 grams of sugar, this recipe does require a lot of sugar. In here I have one teaspoon of white pepper and two teaspoons of MSG. Now MSG is up to you, some people don't like it. It is a naturally occurring substance found in seaweed, tomatoes, mushrooms and other things. I like it, I find it really brings out that umami flavour. One tablespoon of Chinese five spice and of course not forgetting your pork. Now most Chinese takeaways will use collar or shoulder. I, I couldn't get hold of any of that so I am using pork fillet today. So the first thing to do is to trim your pork. I'm going to cut it into reasonable sized chunks. Obviously the smaller you chop it the quicker it will cook. Right and you just pop that in the pot. So place all your pork in the pot like so and then you simply just add the rest of your ingredients. Onions, garlic, garlic powder, star anise, high spice, tomato puree, fingers they are clean, hoisin sauce, yellow bean sauce, your MSG, your teaspoon of salt and your white pepper. Fennel, cloves and cinnamon. And your food colouring if you're using it. Joy left over here. Okay, right. Oh, not forgetting of course your sugar. Nearly forgot that, that's quite important, don't forget that. Now you, you'll need to cover this with water, the exact amount depends on the size of your pan, how much pork you've got, etc, etc. So, some water. about a litre. Now, 
I'm going to cook this with a lid on. I'm going to bring it to the boil and use a temperature probe to tell when the pork is cooked. Now, pork's cooked when it's between 71 and 77 degrees centigrade or Celsius. As you can see at the moment it's just 21. So I'm going to stick a lid on that and get it going. Okay. And we'll just let that come to a simmer. And uh, I'll come back to you when that's done. Okay, that's taken about 15 minutes and it's now 81. So it is cooked. But what I want to do is not just cook it, I want to make it tender. So I'm going to put the lid back on that and let it simmer for at least half an hour. So obviously the longer you leave it the more tender it gets. But just keep an eye on it because you don't want it actually falling apart. So um, another half an hour, come back then. Okay guys, this has had half an hour simmering. See the temperature there, 94. I've taken the lid off and I'm just going to let it simmer um, at a reasonable heat just to let it sort of reduce down a bit for 10 minutes and then uh, you can uh, take the pork out lay it on a tray to cool and you can use the sauce as a Chinese barbecue sauce you just strain it put it into a jug I'm not going to show you how to do that it's pretty straightforward just put it through a sieve okay I'll come back when that's done So this has been boiling away for another 10 minutes. I've turned it off and I've let it cool down a bit. What you need to do now is just take the pork out and put it on a tray to cool. That'll do. And the reason you want to let it cool is you won't be able to slice it if it's hot. It will just fall apart if you try that. So take it out, let it cool down. There's a bit of onion, that's not pork. <laughs> okay, that's pork. Hopefully this will be nice and tender. Any more pork in there? As I said at the beginning, it's a lot easier to use um, a better cut of pork, pork shoulder preferably, anything more fatty and it makes it more tender. I had to use pork fillet because that's all I had in the fridge, which may make it a little dry, but uh, we'll see. So I'm going to let that cool down and then I'm just going to strain that into a container to freeze. And there you have it. Char Sui takeaway style. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.